Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. If you're starting this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you want to start from the first video. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got the arcade, we're going to the databases, and then we left off here in the group by section on soccer players. So you have a table soccer team that contains information about the players in your favorite soccer team. This table has the following structure. So you've got the ID of the player, first name, surname, or last name, uh, and player number. Create a semicolon separated list of all the players sorted by their numbers and put this list in a table under a column called players. The information about each player should have the following format. First name, surname, and then number. All right. So here's the soccer team table, team table that we'll be using. And then what they want is just the players with the first name, last name, and number separated by semicolons. Okay. So how we do that is again we're going to use the group concat function like we saw in the last video. And we're going to concatenate is we're going to, within that concat group concat, we're going to concat the first uh, name, the last name here, a surname, uh, number, and the player number. So what the concat function does is all it does is, so in this case, uh, so it's putting together the first name, and then it's putting a space, and then it's putting in the surname, like here, and then it's putting in a space, and then the pound sign, and then it's putting in the player number. So it's putting in basically like this. First name, last name, first name, space, last name, and then space, pound, and then player number seven. So it's doing that for all the rows, and then the group concat function uh, is being ordered by the player number. Um, so it's gonna order these by, first it's gonna do seven, and then it's gonna do 12, 14 and so on. And the separator here is going to be the semicolon and a space. So you can see there's semicolon and a space here. Uh, so that's what the separator signifies. And we're calling that players. So we're putting the, uh, the alias players here. And then we're doing that from uh, the soccer team table. If we go ahead and run that, you can see that is correct. And I hope you guys are able to follow along with that. And I hope you guys will join me for some of the more exercises in this code signals. Thank you very much.